this very exercise saved one of my students, John, 10 strokes. No word of a lie. This very problem was something that's played him for such a long time that this one exercise transformed his golf swing with ease. So if you want to play golf, great golf forever, have a go at this exercise. So with John and with lots of golfers, what I see in the backswing is this trail arm over travels and over bends. And then from here, it really is a death move. So the only thing you can really do from there is spin your body out to lengthen the arm or you throw the arm straight away and cast it. So they cause two massive problems. Lots of fat and thin shots, lots of sliced shots. And when you do make good contact with it, generally really poor power. So this one thing we talked about and the drill I gave him really transformed his golf. I talked to him about the concept of never bending the trail arm more than 90 degrees and feeling like his right arm or trail arm was straight in his golf swing in the backswing. Even though we wanted to bend, but trying to keep it straight was the concept that was the game changer for John. And what we really want to do is have something you can cling on to, that you can take to the course that makes that change for you and for John in this case, that allows you then to have that simple thought that makes you play better golf. In terms of the drill, what I told him to do is buy a cheap water wing or armband, whatever you want to call it, stick it on that trail arm. In this case, it's a roll up one, which is a lot easier to put on. So that would be my advice. And we want this to sit pretty much in the joint of your arm, where the elbow joint is. And what I said to him is when you've got that, that armband on, Try and feel that you make no contact with your forearm and that armband. No squashing. Now, obviously, as soon as you make contact, you're going to overrun a little bit, but it's still going to make your trail arm feel a lot shorter and wider than it was before. Now, the key with having the trail arm shorter and wider is in a position then it can come down and get in front of this trail hip in order for us then to turn onto the golf ball. And in doing so, that allows us to deliver a consistent low point after the golf ball. It gives us a mechanics elbow being the head of a hand, which then allows us to really compress that golf ball and deliver a lower dynamic loft. And it also, from a direction point of view and an arc point of view, if the elbow's ahead of the hand, the hand tends to get into this shape where the right trail hand's extended. And then that gives us that club head behind the hand visual that allows us to swing it on the correct arc to hit great goal shots. So this one drill, as I said, really was a huge game changer in this case in point and it's something I would recommend most golfers try and the more difficult it feels the more it's going to change your golf swing and the more it's going to help your golf swing so we really want to make it feel difficult and we want to make sure that your golf feels easy forever and that you can carry on playing with ease no matter how old you get no matter how physically you might change this just makes things a lot easier. So I'd recommend, first of all, you'd start with a few practice swings. And as soon as you feel that tension, okay, that's you done. Make sure the body feels it has a bigger role. The body picks up the strain from the arms doing less. That's what we want. We want the body to work harder in the backswing and the arms to work less. And in theory, the arms probably to work a bit harder in the downswing and the body to work less. Again, in the downswing, I have no problem with you feeling the contact and pressure on the armband. I want to feel it ideally in front of your ribcage, not into your ribcage, or not necessarily on your ribcage, but depending how much you've got it blown up, some contact is absolutely fine. That felt easy. I'm not saying the drill's easy, but the contact felt easy. The drill felt uh, really short, really wide. It felt kind of unloaded. This is my feelings, not your feelings. But what we're trying to do obviously is pick up the strain in the distance by making the body work into a deeper turn. So making the cells turn more by making the arms work less. That is really what we're trying to do. Getting the arm in that shorter, wider state so it can function better in the downswing and create a more effortless, easy impact. And it doesn't rely then a lot of joints working, golfers elbows, things like this, it makes things a little simpler and easier. Pick yourself up a water wing, go online, give this a try, and we can use it for various other drills as well, which you'll check out on my channel.